wife goes to her gynecologist and the doctor says, what seems to be the problem? She says, I keep finding postage stamps from Costa Rica in my vagina. The doctor looks at her, examines her, starts to laugh. She says, why are you laughing? He says, those are not postage stamps from Costa Rica. Those are the stickers from the bananas. <laughs> Did you join a dating site for people with MS? It's called Stumble. <laughs> Swipe right or left. <laughs> uh, I'm falling apart. The doctor also told me recently I am pre-diabetic. He's yelling at me, stop with the wine, it's too much sugar. I was like, okay, I switched to vodka. I lived in Arizona from 1999 to 2012. <clears throat> And I, brought my, I, I decided to leave because I didn't want to raise my son in a place where the Olive Garden was voted best Italian restaurant. <laughs> the Olive Garden. If you're here, there's no fucking way you're Italian. Have you ever been to a snobby, snooty, overpriced restaurant where they have an attendant in the men's room? I hate that. All the guy does is hand me a towel. You feel really guilty, you gotta tip him a dollar. I really hate that. I went out to dinner last week, I had diarrhea. Cost me 28 bucks. <laughs> Enjoy your food, eat up. I'll stand outside one of the comedy clubs, this homeless dude comes up to me, goes like, hey kid, can you spare $20? Looked him dead in his face, I was like, dude. I was like, I work in retail, drive a car from 2007, went to Nassau Community. Took a step back, he was like, oh my God. <laughs> Here's 40. I was like, okay. Connie's crazy. Connie was like, oh, the first Jews, they were black. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's weird. But then I thought about it. I was like, oh my God, he's so right. The first Jews, they were black. That's why Moses split the sea, because they couldn't swim. <laughs> And uh, I could say that because I can't swim either. And... I do. I do think we're obsessed with our phones a little bit. Like I'm on my phone swiping all the time. You know, I like the little techniques we have to fix our phones. I don't know if you guys like, uh, like, sir, if you drop your phone in water, do you know what you're supposed to do to fix it? Put it in rice. Thank you. He could have answered. Uh... <laughs> Okay, and I never understood the science behind that. So I asked my buddy, and he made kind of an offensive junk, you know. He said, uh, he said, if you put your phone in rice, Chinese kids will come into your house at night and fix your phone. That's what he meant. I just got back from a family reunion, which, uh, those are brutal, you know. There's always people you haven't seen in, like, 19 years there. You got a continued conversation where you left it at, like, your bar mitzvah. My great aunt Helen was there. She came running up to me all excited. She was like, oh, my God, you got some." I didn't know what to say to that, so I was like, 72! <laughs> and that beard, looking good, Anne Helen. <laughs> <laughs>